Well, here we are again. I guess this is getting monotonous by now, but I hope not. Uh, I've got the great pleasure now to have Elvis Presley standing right beside me in his good-looking red jacket. Uh, how, how, how do you like that? How do I like the red jacket? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, personally, uh, it stinks, but, <laughs> yeah. but uh, it shows up on the stage. You know, you know, I'm a little loud and show up. We have to be seen. Yes, that's right. Well, uh, where are you from? Or I'm from uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, that's my home. Uh, do you ever go back to Memphis? Well, I, I go there every, t every chance I get. I'm on the road most of the time, uh -huh. traveling on tour. But every time I get a couple, three days off, well, I, I go home. Uh, how did people treat you when you were back home? Well, they, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they are real nice down there. I mean, well, they're real nice everywhere. Yeah. Is there, any, is there any one person you can sing live giving you your biggest break? Well, probably uh, my manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that gave me my big breaks. Of course, uh, Sam Phillips that owns the Sun Record Company, which I started out with, he, he gave me my biggest one probably. That was the first people you recorded for? Yes. Yeah. Now you're with RCA Victor. That's right. How do you feel over that? Well, it's about the best thing that could have happened to me. Victor's the biggest company in the world, record company. I think about everybody feels that way. Yes. They sure treat me nice. Yeah. Well, well they, uh, uh, they got distribution everywhere, even overseas and everywhere. So, yeah. they, really, they really push it. If you couldn't sing, is there any other profession that you would take up if you couldn't sing? Well, I... Uh, I hear those people that are hollering. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't think of anything right now. Uh, before I started singing, I was studying electricity. I was uh, an apprentice mm -hmm. for, a, for an electric company. Mm -hmm. In a high school, did you participate in any sports? I, I think played. It, I played football about a year, and so uh -huh. as long as I lasted. <laughs> <laughs> There's a boy over there, the star tackle at Oscar Smith. Sure know. And Mike there, big Mike, we call him. Do you prefer to work in radio or television or appear on stage or what? Well, I get a bigger kick out of appearing on stage in front of an audience. You get to know people better. Is that right? Yes, you, you feel a lot freer and everything. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Do you find that people worry you a lot about getting your autographs and things like that, or do you enjoy well, that? You, en you enjoy it. Uh, they don't worry you. When you got to start worrying is when they stop asking for your autograph. You know? I reckon that's right. Uh, uh, the girls over there wanted me to ask you what type of girls you prefer, Bl blondes, brunettes, redheads, or what? Just girls. Just girls in general, huh? Yeah. You like the home-loving or career girl or what? Well, I don't know. I, I'm not, I, I don't, I, I never, I never give it too much thought, you know, really. Mm -hmm. Cause just, I'm, just having fun, huh? Yes, yeah, just playing the field right now. <laughs> well, I uh, sure do appreciate you having this little visit with us, and I'm sure all our listeners will get a big kick out of it hearing your voice like this. And well, well, thanks a lot, buddy. I really enjoyed it, and, uh, and uh, if I'm ever around again, I'll come see you again. Okay? I appreciate that a whole lot. Bye. Thank you a lot.